what we need to do next is we need to program the application to then read the array list of objects back out, take the objects from the array list and print the data that is currently stored in the array list. So if we go back to our application, to our save button, not our save button, our view saved button, Okay, this is our read BTN action performed method. There are some small changes that need to be made here. So here we make an instance of assessment called X. And we're going to just comment that out because now we're not going to make one instance of assessment. We're reading an entire array list of assessments. So we're going to make an array list. An array list of type assessment called x list and that x list is a new instance we don't even need to create it actually because we're going to just read from the file and store it in there so we do o stream dot read object now You'll see here again, we're getting found object required array list of type assessment. So again, we have to cast it and we cast it by saying it's an array list of type assessment. So read the object, cast it so that it's an array list of assessments and store it in X list. And then we want to print all of the details that are stored in each object so we simply add a loop. And here I'm actually going to use a for each loop. We make an instance of assessment called X and we tell it to traverse X list, the array list. And then J option pane dot show message dialog. We're still doing X dot get name, X dot get waiting, X dot get type. And we close our loop. And that should be us. So instead of declaring and creating an one instance of assessment, we declare and create an array of assessments. We read the object and cast it as an array list of assessments. And then we traverse the array list to pull out all of the details. So let's try play that. And view saved, OP exam terminal waiting, five project terminal 0.5 and quiz formative zero. And so it's pulling the object, the array of objects, out of the file. It's taking the objects out of the array list and it's taking the data out of each object. So that sums up writing and reading array lists of objects to and from files. The steps, there's very little difference between one, one object and an array list of objects because an array list is in fact an object.